and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So it's the perfect rainy, dreary, overcast day here at the Witch's Cottage. So I thought it'd be the perfect day to do an upstairs tour of my house to show you guys all the things that I got this Halloween and finally put them in motion with decorating my house so you guys can see. So without further ado, let's go. First, I'll start with the kitchen. So on the countertop, I have this cauldron from Michael's, my little witch, my beautiful candle stand from a Bath and Body, and I've just put a jack-o'-lantern candle holder on from Dollar Tree. Then I have a light-up pumpkin from Dollar Tree, and back behind I have some spooky mugs. And then on my stove, I have this Ray Dunn candle called Witch's Brew, and it smells amazing. Then I have my Dollar Tree pot holders, my Toxic Spatula, and the Skeleton Hand Tongs, the Witch that I made. And then this here is actually a Dollar Tree card that I have framed and I put next to my candy bar here. Then I have my wall plug in from Bath and Body, my cookie jar, and then some Michael's tins. And I keep sugar and tea bags in these. And then I also have this pumpkin drying mat that I found. I'm looking for a Halloween one. So if anybody knows where I can grab a Halloween one at, let me know in the comments down below. And then above my sink, I have my potion sign from Michael's along with two other things that I found at Michael's. Then I have the soap dispenser from Dollar Tree. Some other Halloween mugs and my huge cauldron from TJ Maxx, I believe. And inside here I keep my K-Cups. And then beside the Keurig I have my bread rack which I have this sign, why not stay for a brew, and the skull. And then on my fridge, I have some Harry Potter magnets. These I keep up year round because I'm a Harry Potter fanatic, but they are kind of Halloween related. And then if you've seen my DIY video, you would have seen the witch sign that I made here with my other witch magnets. But that's it for the kitchen, so let's move on to the dining room. So in my dining room, I have a plant stand that I've put my dancing Sam on that I got from Spirit Halloween. I also have a solar-powered witch from Walmart. And then on my hutch, I have a sign that says the witch is in. This one is from Dollar Tree. And this one came on a broom from TJ Maxx. I just took it off of the broom. And then inside my hutch, I have my two Halloween plates in there that I got from TJ Maxx. And then the two that I had made in one of my DIYs. And then up here, I have the little ghosty that I got from Dollar Tree. And then on my wall, I have the Witch's Layer Apothecary sign from Michael's. And then on my dining room table, I have some branchy trees, some vases, the Haunted House pepper, uh, salt and pepper shakers. And then moving over to my tea cart, I have the Haunted Carriage. I believe that was from, not home, maybe Home Goods or At Home, one of those. The two wood houses in the back I had just found at Walmart. So I was really excited about that. And then above that, I have a branchy wreath with the 
batshit crazy sign that I made in a DIY. I also have my coveted moon sign from Joann's and another branchy wreath. And then I also have this Victorian stand here that I keep some things in. I have my, my huge ceramic cauldron down there. I think I'm going to eventually transfer one of my plants into that. But on top of this stand here, I have some witch's boots and the coffin and some raven tea light candles. And then above that, I have the skull wreath from LTD. And then moving over to the living room, I have my ladder with my Halloween blankets on it. Then on top of the shelving unit, I have a potions bottle, a sign, and a glowing jack-o'-lantern. My beautiful witch's canvas. I've also adorned the walls with some bats. And then the newest furniture piece that I have is this beautiful fireplace bookshelf. I absolutely love it and I got it for 50% off, so I'm so stoked about that. But it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to have that. Then I have my huge witch's hat over there with my floor candelabra, and those have the bleeding candles on, but I kinda don't wanna light them yet. I wanna wait for a special occasion. But then on my chair, I have two pillows. And then this is the broom that came with the witch's in sign that I showed you that was on my hutch. And then over on the other side of the window is the moon wreath that I got from Michael's. Then on my end table, I have some creepy cloth on my lamp with a book of shadows and my candle holder from Bath and Body. Then the puppies are on the couch but I have the fortune teller pillow that I got from Big Lots. And my couch looks really bare. I wish I got, would have got some more pillows, Halloween pillows, but I went way over budget. So maybe next year. But then this is my coffee table. And you can see my cauldron sign in the back there that I made. But I just have one of those lantern houses. This was filled with candy, but the kids already ate it. And then I also have a hutch that's in my living room that leads back a hallway to the bathroom in the kids' rooms. And this was my grandmother's. It used to be green with the wood, but I painted it black. I think it's so pretty. I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like green. And down here I have my Bride of Frankenstein ornament. And then on this wall here, I have my witch canvas that lights up which you'll see when I do the dark tour. And then that's it for the living room, so let's go back to the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. I have my Ray Dunn shower curtain up with some witchy things on the sink and some cute little gnomes. I have my Bath & Body plug-in. Then above the toilet, I have this display and then on top of the toilet I have this little sign here. So that's it for the upstairs daytime tour. So let's turn the lights off and get spooky and see what it looks like in the dark.
so much for watching my first house tour I hope you enjoyed it there will be a part two I'll be showing you the downstairs all decked out for Halloween so be sure to stay tuned for that but make sure you like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye